What's up everybody? Welcome to another video here on Alvaro's Outdoor Adventures. Uh, today's video I'm going to show you how to winterize this uh, Salem FSX 178BHSK. We're in the winter of course and uh, we're not going to be using this RV until probably spring or late winter and it's a good time to um, winterize it. So stick around, hopefully you like this video. If you do, please give me that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Also hit that bell button so you can get notified anytime I upload a video. Uh, my faithful subscribers, welcome back. Hopefully you like this video as well. Here's a, a camping tip video. Th this will help you preserve your lines throughout the winter. So stick around. All right, so focusing on the outside part of the RV first, what you want to do or what we want to do is find your water heater. So your water heater is going to look just exactly like this on any RV. What you do is here, it has a tab, you lift it up, turn it a bit, line it up with the, the hole it has here, and then you just bring this down. And inside of here is your water heater, usually a six, uh, six gallon water heater. And this valve is the one that you uh, wanna look for here. And it's a high pressure release valve. So you want to open that up, that way you can get all the water out. Anything that's pressurized on the water heater, it will come out. So we went camping a couple of weeks ago and we um, completely drained everything out. So it's hardly, you're hardly going to see any water coming out. Uh, you're probably going to see more inside. but. Uh, we'll wait for that. This is the only step you need here. From here you can close this. And you're done with this part. Now what you want to look for now is the any low drains that you have. So here there's a fresh water drain which is underneath. And on the back, I have another load drains as well that we need to take, uh, that we need to open up so we can get the, all the water out from there. And this here is what you want to look for. Anything that says drain, they're going to be on the bottom part of the uh, RVs. So from here, if you look down, there you'll see the drain. All you have to do is twist that and have the water come out you can see the water dripping there not a lot like i said there's um i already cleared most of it out i drained it out but let me show you on the other ones um how i did it so here are the other two that i have um one's blue one's red you probably uh, you probably see it from there of course blue it's cold water Hot, uh, red is hot water and you don't need no special tools you could really just do it without your I mean with your hands so some of these have gasket in them you want to make sure those do not fall off if you do, just put them back. Uh, hopefully you don't lose them because that will keep this watertight. All right, now coming inside the RV, you have to remember where your water heater tank was at outside because you want to access it inside as well. Like I said, it's different for all of the RVs. Mine, I know it was straight here, so I'm gonna check first uh, down on these cabinets. But uh, as long as you locate that box, that's where you want to look in your RV because it, the other part of it, it's right on that same direction. So let's go under here on this one. 
and I'm focusing on these cabinets right here. So my RV has these two panels here, which have a screw in there. So all you gotta do is take it out with the screwdriver. Once I got all the screws out, I'm gonna get these panels off and here's where the screw goes. You can see there, this is a screw and it's bolted down, a piece of wood there. And down here it's your water tank. So these have these two here. It, ha it has a bi bypass valve where you want to turn it and close the axis. So no more water can go into the water heater. Uh, there's one here on top like this one. There's one in the bottom. I'm going to change them both like this. Once I've done that, I'm done with this part. Now I need to find my water now pump. Now make sure that when you dewinterize it, you come in here and you open those valves because otherwise all you're going to get is cold water. What we did here was we bypassed any water going straight into the uh, water tank. That way if it freezes, um, there won't be any water in there accumulated and uh, it won't freeze out on you. Now most RVs come prepped to where in the water pump it has an extra hose. All you have to do is get that hose, stick it into your um, antifreeze gallon and it would suck all of the antifreeze from there and start distributing it throughout the lines. We'll take a look at this one. I'm not sure this is the first time I'm doing it. You got to locate your water pump. Here's a quick tip. If you don't know where the water pump is at, go to your water pump power and power it on and then listen for the noise. I know mine's down here, but I'm gonna show you what I mean. Here's my water pump uh, button. So if I turn it on, I could hear it. I can hear it in this direction. And all you have to do is pry it with something underneath and then uh, carefully pull it out. So that's the water pump right there. And what you're looking for, it's a hose coming out from the water pump that you could use. And it should not be connected to anything. And here is the hose that I found. So this would be my suction hose, which I would just take this cap off. And I would put the antifreeze gallon on these through the antifreeze gallon. And then of course turn on the pump so I could suction all the antifreeze through. You want to make sure that you have uh, antifreeze for RV. And this one you can see it's RV, boat, home, and pool. But you want to see RV and Marine there. All right, magic trick. So you have a deck of cards, mix them up a bit, do a couple of cuts. And can you go ahead and choose three cards? That's one. Two. That's three. So let's let's take a look at the cards. So we have a two, a clubs, a king, of spades, and a queen of spades. So what we're gonna do it's um. We're going to add them up to 14. So if we get the king, uh, the king it's 13, so we only add one more, right? And then just put that there. The queen would be 12, because if you go 10, jack it's 11, queen is 12, king is 13. So 12, 
Oh, actually, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to get the queen and put it there. And then the last one, it's a two. So we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 12, 13, 14. So the magic number 14. So now we're, I'm going to look for the cards. They should be facing up. Here's one. I'm going to get the pair of the ones right on top of it. Here's the queen. And here's the two. Now, now we're going to add up all of these. So we got 13 plus 12, 25 plus 2, 27. So if we count 27, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and we'll take the 27th card. And what we did here with these cards, and the ones that he shows, is that we landed exactly on every single ace. So there you have it. Okay, so now I'm going to get one of these gallons, put it on the floor, get the hose in here, and then turn on the water pump and uh, open the faucets, make sure that all the water runs into them. So here, some of them come with a cap. Turn, take this cap off. Put this hose inside, just like that. Now on to turning on the water pump. So this is going to start sucking all the water from here. And I'm going to show you on the sink first. So one thing I didn't see or do, you see at the bottom of that connector, it has a lever kind of like the one for the water heater so I'm gonna turn that one over there because uh, I don't see any suction on this hose hopefully you see how I changed the position on that one over there turn the lights turn the water heater I mean the water pump back up and see if I have any suction on this you can see how it's going down. So that was the issue right there. So now that the water heater, it's not the water heater. Keep on saying the water heater. Not the water. Now that the water pump, it's working as it should. Um, all I have to do is come in, turn on the water, make sure it comes out peak. That's for hot or and cold. I want to make sure it gets pink on both sides. Just like that. Uh, now let me go to the restroom. I want to do the same here as well. You see pink. And I see pink. I'll do the same here in the shower. Where I see pink, turn off the hot and turn on the cold as well. I see pink. 
and all that water will stay on the lines. Do the same with the toilet, flush it. I want to keep some pink fluid in there as well to protect the gasket over the winter. So I'm going to leave just enough so it will be, um, so it has antifreeze on it as well. For me, since I have a shower, outside shower, even though we haven't used this one, uh, I want to make sure that this hose here and everything inside it's also winterized. So it's the same process. You're going to open the cold and then the hot water. Start seeing pink fluid. Shut it off. And then the hot water. So, for me, those are all the water inlets, outlets that I have on this RV. Uh, you might have another uh, hose on the front or I don't know, uh, depending on what type of RV you have. Now, again, here's another thing that's optional, putting all the, draw, uh, all the covers back. I mean, you could do it right now or you could wait until winter's over or when you're going to use your RV and go ahead and uh, put it back into place. All right, everybody. Well, there you have it. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully this was exactly what you were looking for. All the RVs are a bit different. They have the same components. And the only difference would be if you don't have the, uh, the connector to the water pump, you could always put it on the water uh, tank and then get it up through the regular system. Again, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Also hit that bell button so you can get notified anytime I upload a video. My faithful subscribers, welcome back. Hopefully you like this video as well. That's it for now, and as always, I'll see you in the outdoors.